हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ बी एस सी एन एच स्कॉस जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द वेल आइकॉन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू टेक द फिमोरल हेड कवरेज परसेंटेज फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ हिप डिस्प्लेसिया बाई अ रेडियोग्राफ सो यू कुड सी दिस इज द वेंटो डॉर्सल व्यू ऑफ द हिप ज्वाइंट दिस व्यू हैज बिन टेकन विद द एक्सटेंडेड बोथ हाइंड लिम्स सो दिस इज द आइडियल रेडियोग्राफिक व्यू फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द हिप डिस्प्लेसिया सो एज पर द रेडियोग्राफ इफ यू सी सो दिस इज ए सस्पेक्टेड केस ऑफ द हिप डिस्प्लेसिया बिकॉज इफ यू सी सो हेड इज आउट ऑफ द स्टेबुलर कैविटी सो सम पोर्सन ऑफ the head is inside and some portion of the head is outside the stabular cavity so we have measured the this norbach angle so norbach angle is also less than 105 degree in this particular case so that is also indicative of the hip dysplasia but there are certain other radiographic parameters by which you could also diagnose yeah further uh, confirmation you can go for the femoral head coverage percentage means how much head of the femur is covered by the this stabulum so normally it should be covered 60% so for measurement of the femoral head coverage that is how much head of the femur is covered by the stabular cavity so for that we have to draw first one line connecting the cranial stabular rim to the this caudal stabular rim then second line we draw at the inner surface of the head of the femur so this is the inner surface then here we draw a circle for the measurement of the diameter of the head of the femur so this is roughly uh, we have centered the this one this is the center of the head of the femur so now next step is we measure the distance between this line means the line which is drawn from the cranial stabular rim to the caudal and the line which is drawn connecting the this inner surface of the head of the femur so you could see this one is 4.82 mm and second one is we measure the diameter of the this head of the femur so this diameter comes around 13.51 now next step is we divide the this distance that is 4.82 mm by the 13.51 mm so whatever value will come that will multiply by the 100 so that will come in the percentage so upon division this 4.82 by 13.51 the value come 35.67 it means this femoral head coverage percentage in this particular case is 35.67 percentage which is very less than the 60% so normally 60% head of the femur should be covered by the stabular rim so in this particular case upon the measurement by the this femoral head coverage so femoral head coverage indicate that this case is positive for the hip dysplasia so as i already told you that radiographic feature is also telling that this is a positive for the hip dysplasia clinical sign that is bunny hopping gait also suggestive of the hip dysplasia and norbach's angle which we have measured so norbach's angle also indicative because that angle was less than the 105 and i have already uploaded one video how to calculate the norbach's angle so you could see that video also i will give the link in the description box so this is how we calculate the femoral head coverage percentage uh, in a suspected case of the hip dysplasia so thank you very much for watching uh, the video and if you like this video so kindly share with your friends and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you very much